It's completely easy to live a sane and empowered human life. And this is really something that I see in my own experience every day, all day and night. And especially when I immerse myself, which is basically all the time, with other people who are dedicated to see themselves as this pure power to be of benefit, as open intelligence, we just live the best life ever. And many of you are a demonstration of it. Many of you are a demonstration of people who were pioneering something together with many other people all over the world, a new way of living that was very inaccessible before, or it was accessible maybe for a very selected few lucky people somewhere that it's not here. It's not your hometown. <laughs> it's not your neighborhood. But now together we've all been through something and we see the results are quite incredible. The results of living a life that is dedicated to the benefit of all are beyond any imagination. So for me, when I started with the training seven years ago, I met it by coincidence in, in India. And, and when I started to listen to the talks and everything, I, I, I built up a whole new expectation of how my life would look like after seven years of participating in the Four Mainstays. The news is it, it doesn't look like my expectations. And the good news is that it's so much better. So with everything we do, with any project that we take, with our practice of short moments, we will always exceed all expectations. You know how from conventional intelligence you come to a new situation which is unknown and you hope not to make a mistake. This is like the main, main expectation. I really hope I'll match up to the expectation. Here we come. I know it will be brilliant and I don't know what to expect. There will be obviously an increasing uh, benefit. The obviousness of benefit in my life will be ever increasing. All of the data streams that you have right now, the thoughts, emotions, sensations, my thoughts, emotions, and sensations, we don't need to get rid of them and we don't need to sit and think about them for too long. Then it's when the smoke starts to come out of the ears and you feel a bit like a cartoon character. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'll think about it a bit more, more, and then I'll understand, and then I'll understand, and then you get gray and old and frail, and, and life is over. But uh, wait, I wanted to understand. I wanted to understand, but it's gone. Now there's nothing to understand. So with open intelligence, whatever is our age and wherever we are with our life circumstance, there is an amazing opportunity to test and recognize the brilliant, openness of open intelligence that is always there. It doesn't require the conventional effort that we were so used to. It doesn't require the thinking and analyzing everything. It's requiring you exactly as you are, me exactly as I am. So brilliant and so radical that it takes the support to, to really see it in our own experience. Many of us, we come not to the world, but after growing up a bit, I know that when I came to the training, there was a list of data streams that I wanted to get rid of. To name a few, anxiety, depression, sexual desire, not all the time, you know, not to get rid of it all of the time, only when it's inappropriate. Um, social awkwardness, la meaningless, lack of purpose, anger, and the list goes on. I'm sure you can relate to at least one or all of them. <laughs> so when I came to the training, my conventional approach, the, the success will be, the success of the Four Mainstays will be, if I will not have these data streams, then I'll know that I'm a successful, restful, potent human being. You know, like if I will not think angry thoughts, if I will not have anxious sensations. But again and again, the message when I use the Four Mainstays, when I take a short moment, when I listen to a talk, when I participate in trainings and hearing other people's experiences, I see, well, it just gets more and more wild. <laughs> <laughs> And initially we're like, wait, wait, can I, I can't, <laughs> just get more and more wild. And you see the person who's sharing about it beaming like the sun. Okay, if it gets so wild and free, 
I want to try it in my own experience. So that's where the 100% commitment to really cut the root when you find yourself in the room thinking about things and getting lost in the description to just give yourself a break, a short moment of open intelligence. So gentle, so kind, you know. When we look at the world and we say, oh, people are so awful, violent, unkind, you look at the media, first look at yourself. How unkind you were to yourself trying to get rid of your amazing potency that you labeled, that we labeled, that it's wrong, you know, the data stream. How unkind, the self-abuse, the torture, the horrible way of relating to ourselves. And now there's an opportunity to align ourselves back with reality. And there's all the support available for, for that. Aligning ourselves with reality is sometimes unfamiliar, sometimes exciting, and sometimes it's like, like nothing is happening with this reality. I want to go back to the other reality. <laughs> Uh, you know, like there can be all kinds of descriptions associated with this new way of living. But what you see that once you've been introduced to open intelligence, you cannot switch it off. And if you want to enjoy its benefit ever increasingly so, then rely on the Four Mainstays. So simple. <laughs> so simple. We don't take people and try to change their data streams, but really seeing that the data streams are inseparable from open intelligence's potency. So looking at the news and looking at the media, what I discovered that I, I saw people, <laughs> I saw people doing really funny things. Same things that I would do if I had the same data streams as they do. Same with politics, something that politicians that I had a whole agenda about and a whole, you know, oh, you know, may, I'm not sure if you have it here in Bristol, but I know it's very uh, common. People say, the system. <laughs> have you heard about the day, the system, <laughs> who control everything and the water and the, the system? <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> it's a bit like, <laughs> So this system is comprised of people that make mistakes, people that make mistakes. They rely on data streams. And we are part of this system. We are part of this society. So if we want to make a change, then it's about self-empowerment, first of all. Focus on your own direct experience. And this is how we can really bring about a social change for all of society, including the system. I don't know what it is. Including the politicians which I know who they are, and including everyone, you know, really being of great benefit to all. And this is the focus in decision making. It's not like, how can I collect and hold on to more positive data streams? It's how can I be of benefit to all? And I, saw, and I see it every day in my life that my decision making is so radically different than what it used to be before. Before I, I, I came to situations like I shared, I hope not to make a mistake. I hope that people will like me. I hope that I will say the right thing in the right time. You see, already you are squeezed to such a dirty corner. <laughs> you know, and I hope that maybe I'll be happy if, if, some, <laughs> if someone will be so kind and shed the happiness from a cloud in a rainy day. This is such a low level of living. I mean, this is a ridiculous level of living that no one needs to, to even experience for a second. But we have the experience of experiencing it. And now, you know, with the practice, the gentle practice of short moments repeated many times, we gift ourselves with gifts one moment after the next. Gifts of openness, stability. This is all the innate qualities that were ignored for so long. Now we see them just flourishing in our everyday life. So when you come to a new situation, you're just open. You know what to rely on. It's not about fixing our brain. You know, what is this brain, by the way? It's about seeing open intelligence exactly as it is, exactly as you are, with your addiction to highs and your fear of lows. That's where you test short moments of open intelligence. Not about thinking how you should change yourself in order to experience open intelligence. You see the difference? So that's very powerful. It's nice to talk about reality, huh? Real reality, the reality that we can all enjoy and share together. 
And you know, there are really great things to, to speak about because the every day is ever increasingly amazing. Every day the riches, richness of open intelligence becomes more and more obvious. And I know that it brings such great humility to say, wow, like what an amazing gift I received to my life. Like, how random that I met the training in Dharamsala was I was looking while I was looking to be enlightened and I look I, I search for a special state or something like that, you know? It, and then I met this training that changed my life forever. Amazing gratitude for Candice for her courage to start this off by herself, you know, amazing. Like what where do you get all these powers to stand against the pushback, the criticism, the doubt? and to create a society like that, that we can all enjoy all over the world. So congratulate, congratulate yourself for being open. Even if you have loads of negative states, welcome to the club. <laughs> you know, I can share with you all day long my negative states. It will, maybe you'll sleep better at night. <laughs> but the opportunity that afflictive states are giving us, that's what you want to discover, and that's what's available to all of us.